Lewis, first of all, huge congratulations. How's it been Thank for you, you today? Uh, it's a dream come true, really. Uh, something I've worked towards since I was a kid, uh, growing up through the academy, and uh, finally got my opportunity today. So just got to thank everyone, my family, um, and then the manager, obviously, and um, the fans for making me feel welcome and um, like kind of killing the nerves a little bit. Yeah. You took it all in your stride. Yeah. When did you first find out that you were playing? Um, during the day, today. Um, uh, we, we, got, we got the team line-up for the starting 11. And, um, yeah, I was, I was, when I saw my name, just instant shock and, like, nerve-wracking for a couple of hours and just had to, like, sit there for a bit and just think, wow, this, this is the day, like. And, yeah, as soon as I stepped onto the pitch, I think the, every, with the fans behind me and everyone wanting me to do well and stuff, it just gave me motivation and confidence to do what I, what I can do. You looked so comfortable from first minute to the last. You grew in the game, a couple of assists as well. Could it have gone much better? Not really, to be honest. I think, I think I've got to thank, thank my teammates as well for allowing me to um, have the game that I did. And uh, I think uh, also the manager as well for the chance to uh, express myself on the pitch. And yeah, finally the fans like getting behind me and making me feel part of it. Certainly was a very special atmosphere. We were talking off camera, weren't we? we th this is the fifth level that you've played yeah. at this year. I mean, that, that's development for you, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I think first couple of games of the season, I started in the under-18s and then just worked my way up and uh, finally uh, achieved what my, my, obviously my aim, my aim is at Chelsea. And just, oh, I can't, lots of words, really. <laughs> I'm, I'm not surprised, but you're also incredible. You're the youngest ever Chelsea player to start an FA Cup I mean, that's another badge yeah. of honour for you. Yeah. The list goes on. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. Proud moment, obviously. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. No, really. I'm not surprised. I'm not, look, it's been an emotional day, yeah. I'm sure, for you, for your family. I mean, what is, I mean the sky's the limit. What, what else do you want to achieve this year now? Um, obviously, the, at the start of the season, my, my aims, I've ex um, achieved my aims already, and I've gone beyond of what I, what I wanted to achieve. So... I suppose when I get home, I just have to take a couple of days to take it all in and then think about what's next. Thomas, congratulations. Was that the, the perfect professional performance? Never perfect, but very <laughs> professional. And uh, throughout the complete first half and in the beginning of the second half until 5-0, we would have wished for some more goals, some more big chances in the, in the following minutes. But we had also many changes and uh, were a bit running, running out of, of defenders in the end of the match. So, unfortunately, we conceded one goal. But in general, everything is fine because we approached the match very seriously and decided it very early. Was it important to manage the minutes of some of your players? Yeah, yeah, it was very important and had not so much to do with the result. This was some, some decisions were made before. And um, I think we, we, we go out of the game with no injuries, which is very important and with the win that we wanted. 45 minutes for Matteo, 45 for Ruben. Both looked sharp today, didn't they? Yeah, good. Um, now we have to see if we have a reaction for, Rubes, for Ruben's Achilles. Matteo is, is, is strong, very strong since he came back again. So you see what we missed also for weeks and weeks. It's good to have him back. He's a top professional, top player. We spoke about young players pre-match, didn't we? How impressed were you with Lewis Hall today? He did what he did in training. And it's also credit to the guys around him, like, uh, like Saul, like Matteo, like, like Malang, make things easy for him. Uh, dressing room is very supportive uh, for these players. Uh, the environment is a good environment that they can, can show their level. And then in the end, they need to show it and, uh, with all the tension and uh, being a bit nervous, playing in front of a, of, a, of a big crowd. But he did well, he was involved in, in goals and uh, he has uh, a lot of things to learn, but th that's why he's with us and uh, now it's the moment to continue. So another game in the busy schedule to look forward to, but you must be proud to progress in this competition once again. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I mean, uh, we demanded this win from us and we expected it uh, from us. And uh, so there's no need now to get overexcited, but uh, the job is done and um, we can be happy and enjoy the free Sunday tomorrow.